Hi everyone and welcome to a Theme Park Worldwide News Update. Yesterday, the Alton Towers Resort teased their 2022 events on social media with a nice little video which has got us all thinking about events throughout this season. The past couple of years, Alton Towers have really upped the game with events and it is fantastic to see. And it looks like 2022 is going to be a huge year yet again for events at the resort. And they've also teased the 15th year of Scarefest. So more about that later in the video. But before we get into the main events taking place throughout the theme park, this year. Just wanted to talk about the first event of the year that actually starts this Friday and is running throughout February half term. Uh, this is just a smaller event that's based for hotel guests. However, it's the Pirate Takeover and it means there's going to be lots of entertainment throughout the hotels and also the Sea Life Centres open on park. It's actually going to be like an act to walk through, which will be quite cool. Along with that, uh, Mutiny Bay rides are open, Heave Ho and Marauders Mayhem. It's only February, no battle galleons. I don't think anybody wants to ride that in this weather. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little event. Like I say, uh, annual pass holders can't just turn up or anything like that. It's just a hotel exclusive. Uh, they've done a similar thing for a couple of years now. And it's always good with all the entertainment going on. And yeah, it's a nice family event. So yeah, if you are at the hotels next week, have a fantastic time at the Pirate Takeover. Now, this video that's gone out there, it was only a short one, but we could see the return of all of our favourites, starting off with Mardi Gras. Now, this was a new event that launched at Alton Towers last year, and we really enjoyed it. We had a good dance, really good time. All the props and stages, what they put around the park, were absolutely brilliant. Like, the theming was awesome for this. Now, it does look like from the video that Mardi Gras is going to be coming back. It was only featured ever so slightly in the video. However, uh, I really hope it is. I mean, a lot of money was invested in the stage and the props for this last year. Um, so yeah, it does look like it's going to make a return. In terms of dates, we're not too sure on that yet. However, last year kind of ran from the middle of May through to the middle of June. So maybe we're going to be seeing something similar um, dates-wise this year. But yeah, with Mardi Gras, it looks like it's coming back and I'd really like to see the event uh, change a few bits um, and improve. However, in general, I thought it was really good fun. I just think maybe some of the stages could be in better positions for this year. Now, of course, summer at Alton Towers. Last year, uh, they had kind of like a carnival style vibe um, on the front lawns with all the buntings that were hanging up, some extra summer fun entertainment and change some of the audio around the park. Um, yeah, it was good fun, but I'd like to see summer being the one that has a lot of focus this year. I thought Mardi Gras was pretty much perfect last year, just a couple of changes. Uh, but the summer events, yeah, I think, you know, it'd be nice to see them do a little bit more. I remember when they actually built a beach at the bottom of Tower Street uh, back in the day when I was a kid. And yeah, they had like uh, an Alton Towers sandcastle. It wasn't actually made of sand but it looked really cool made of fiberglass all deck chairs puppet shows maybe something like that for summer would be nice to see um, but yeah it does look like we're going to be having some kind of uh, summer event at Alton Towers again this year uh, so yeah I look forward to seeing exactly what they do now, later in the year then, September, Oktoberfest comes round. And you know what? It's ran for the past two seasons at Alton Towers, and it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, for many people now, it's the highlight event. And for us, it's the one that just keeps getting better and better. It was fantastic in year one. And then last year, oh my God, it was crazy. The atmosphere down on the front lawns, of course, with the huge stage down there. We know that stage is coming back again this year. It's got the, the planning permission to be there again, uh, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, the atmosphere was awesome Oktoberfest. Along with that, having the secondary stage in Mutiny Bay was really good. And yeah, just the theming around Mutiny Bay, Tower Street, the lawns, it was brilliant. And all the extra food options as well. And that was the good thing with Mardi Gras, you know, lots of extra food at the park, which is always great and nice to see more options. Um, but yeah, Oktoberfest looks like it's going to be coming back. It's featured um, in the video that Alton Towers put on yesterday. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing exactly um, what uh, Oktoberfest is going to be like this year at Alton Towers. But yeah, expected to start again in September. September. No confirmed dates yet for any of these events. However, the next event that I'm going to talk about, we can see the opening hours are already on the website, 10 a.m. through until 9 p.m. It is, of course, Scarefest. Now, as much as there isn't actually a full event page yet uh, with the dates on for everything, looking at the opening time, Scarefest looks like it's going to run from the 7th to the 9th of October and then daily from the 14th to the 30th. Not on the 31st this year at the moment. It might get extended there. It wouldn't surprise me if it does. Um, but yeah, it is a Monday this year. 
out of the holidays. So obviously, yeah, normally, um, you know, it, it would be on on Halloween night itself. But at the moment, it's not according to the opening times. But it wouldn't surprise me if we see a little extension there and they run Scarefest on Halloween night, even though it's a Monday. Um, you know, it would make more sense with it being Halloween. However, you never know. Uh, this is Alton Towers. Anything is possible. Now, they have teased um, at the end of the video the 15th anniversary logo for Scarefest. Here it is. And you know what? It looks like it's going to be a big event. And I tell you what, after last year, it needs to be. Scarefest has become quite stale in the past couple of years, in my opinion. I know a lot of people feel the same too, especially when you are paying for mazes. We don't mind paying for mazes. That's absolutely fine, especially when the high quality attractions, which they are at Alton Towers, they're always of a really good standard. However, there's only so many times you can pay to do the same maze. And things like Altonville Mine Tours, beautiful attraction. I love it, but we've had it for so many years now. And I don't think people would mind if it was free, but the fact that we're paying to do the exact same thing time and time again at Halloween, um, yeah, it's different to going on a ride. When you go on a ride, you know, it's that experience. You love that um, overall ride experience. With a scare maze, um, you know, even when you love it, it does become stale over a period of time. So let's hope that 15 years of Scarefest means a big oomph for the event this year. Personally, I would like to see at least two new mazes this year, um, replacing some of the older attractions. I think scare zones need to make a return because sometimes you're walking around the park, you wouldn't even know there was an event on. And that was the beauty of Mardi Gras. It was spread throughout the park, which was brilliant. Instead of just one location, Scarefest always kind of feels like Tower Street, the front lawns, and then the rest of the park has got a little bit of lighting and not much else. Obviously, the scare mazes. But yeah, we really need to see more kind of um, roaming street theatre around. That did start to be introduced last year. More of that, please, this year, Alton Towers. And also as well, a couple of new mazes. Scare zones would be great. Maybe like a celebratory show, a bit like um, what Thought Park did for Fright Nights last year with Legacy. Maybe like a fire and laser show or something on the front lawns. That would be amazing. Or even on Fountain Square, you know, it'd be great for that outside hex um, just like a celebratory show they could even projection map part of the towers how cool would that be projection map the t part of the towers where hex is you know down that left side um, something like that would be great for 15 years of Scarefest but yeah the dates look pretty good I hope it does run on Halloween night but yeah it does look like we're going to be seeing the nine o'clock close again plenty of hours for night riding like five hours of night riding which is brilliant and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what they do so Yes, 15 years of Scarefest, launching at Alton Towers this year, and uh, let's hope for a completely refreshed event. I want to see more props around the park, more theming. It used to be the signature event, and over the years, we've had all this great new stuff coming in. Scarefest just seems to be getting a bit stale, you know, so I'm really hoping that it's a lot fresher for this anniversary year. Uh, and then, of course, Fireworks are going to be back. I tell you what, Fireworks last year was my favourite show that would ever done. It was spectacular. It was a full 360 show, which was amazing, you know, with all the screens around, the CO2 cannons, the display itself was amazing. Fireworks is back this year. From looking at the opening time, seems like it's going to be the 4th, 5th and 6th. Again, that isn't on the actual event page yet, but on the opening times, there are the dates. It's open through until 9. And uh, yeah, of course, we always know it's a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So yes, Fireworks um, are going to be making a return and uh, very much looking forward to that because the show last year was phenomenal. It really was. And of course, the final event uh, is Christmas. Now, we may have only just come out of Christmas a couple of months ago, uh, but I'm sure Alton Towers are already planning what they're going to be doing for the festive season this year. And last year, Christmas was pretty much perfect. They'd hit it right on the head, which was brilliant. However, I'd still like to see a couple of changes for this year. In my opinion, and from a lot of comments on the videos, they've made it way too complicated, um, having everything kind of separate. Like, the market was free, but you needed to pay for parking. But then you could go into, like, Topia, but that didn't include rides but you could also do rides but not like Topia it's confusing isn't it um, so yeah I think they need to make it easier in my opinion just one ticket price would be great but I'd also like to see them maybe open a couple more rides um, for it I know Jewel was kind of part of the like Topia route but that's a really big indoor ride that needs to really be open for Christmas and you've got to think if they did make it one ticket price for, for like Topia and the rides then yeah obviously you could open Jewel again so I don't know but Christmas was great last year 
year, it really was, but I'd like to see it expand even more this year and a few operational changes to bring it from a brilliant event to an extraordinary event. But there we go. I tell you what, it's so exciting. And of course, here on Theme Park Worldwide, we'll be covering all the events, construction updates as soon as the props and theming starts going out, uh, when we get more information about scare mazes, summer events, Mardi Gras, Oktoberfest. It's so nice though, from a content point of view, uh, especially at my local park, Alton Towers, we had no events until Halloween, really. And then these past couple of years, we've had all these events starting to crop up throughout the year. And it's brilliant because it means we can bring you so much fresh content from my local park here on Theme Park Worldwide. And this year, there's going to be so much Alton Towers content, more than ever before. You all love it. I love making it. I love going. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot more uh, in-depth Alton Towers content. Uh, we've kind of ramped it up a bit last year, but uh, yeah, this year there's going to be even more for you to enjoy here on Theme Park Worldwide, including the opening day, 19th of March. Of course, we're going to be there and uh, sharing all the latest updates then too. But uh, there we go. Comment down below. Let me know which events you are looking forward to the most. And Scarefest, I'm looking forward to 15 years. Don't let us down. We want it to be a good one this year. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in tomorrow's video.